Uh, right, so what I've done is uh, I've started uh, attaching, this is the new um, hall effect uh, unit there, uh, and I've glued this in place because uh, it's slightly, the mountings are slightly different on this one. It comes with a couple of studs on it, which go in the mounting holes, but this old one uh, was riveted, so I drilled the rivets out uh, so I could get this one off and I've just put this one in place and you can see I've, I've used epoxy resin to hold it in situ and I've already joined the wires I've just got one more wire to join which I'm going to do now and, uh, and, and, and then that will be it we'll be ready to reassemble it uh, so we'll do that join this wire and then we'll start reassembly. That um, that um, arrow, not arrow die, um, but the resin that I've used, the epoxy resin that I've used, uh, has taken quite well. Um, if you really wanted it solid, you could use something like JB Well, but I just use Gorilla Epoxy, uh, which household Gorilla Epoxy, which is quite strong enough in my opinion. It's not like it's got to take a a big load so yeah we'll we'll do that so I'm gonna just going to um, shorten this cable a bit and uh, strip the flex mm. the flex stripper is Don't forget the heat shrink, something which I often do.
peach drink, is it? Yeah. Melt that down. Yeah. yeah. Bells all clogged up. Better. Right. So that's that. So now we can put that back in the clip. start reassembly um, so there's a peg here which goes in locates the um, two plates back together keeps it in the right place located in the right position like that and then we turn it over so it'll screw to go in I need to get my toolbox John So those two plates go back together. These little scratches on here, I don't know whether you can see those on the camera, but uh, I just use those to make sure I got using the right, um, I did go back to the right holes uh, when I put it back together, because there is another one there. But it, it shouldn't, you shouldn't get it wrong because uh, that peg only goes in in one position. Um, so it was belt and braces really. Okay, so that's there. Now the next thing to do is to reassemble this part on. That goes in. Okay, so this um, circlip goes on first. This is the lower circlip. Get that in uh, in position, and then the um, the rotor goes on. And we need to just use this post. Now we can put the little pin in, if I can find it. Where do we put the little pin? It's not there, is it? No, it's not up. Stop filming. I've got it. So there's the little pin.
goes in position and then the other circlip goes on top like that. I'll leave that um, uh, circlip end over the pin uh, to stop any chance of the um, pin coming out. Tap that down, make sure it's fully home. And uh, I'm going to move that circlip around a little bit. That's it, so as it's covering up the pin. That's it. So that goes on. Now we can assemble this back into the body. So I'll take that off there. Rest that body on. Uh, and what we've got to do is we've got to work this down. So remember there's three mounting screws on the side of the body. So we've got to get the screw holes lined up. And we've also got to get this piece here in the right position. So that goes down over the shaft. And this has to be slid into position at the same time. So that goes down gently, that all slides into position, so I'm just tapping that down over the shaft. That's it. Right, so that's in position. Remember, there's a little peg that holds that plastic retainer in that just pushes in. And then we've got to put, got to put the mounting screws in. So we get the mounting screw holes lined up. can be screwed in oops wrong screw So there's the three screws back in, and then lastly, the E-clip goes in. Just before you put the E-clip in, it's a good idea to put some lubricant on here. I actually greased it um, uh, beforehand uh, with some um, um, with some um, some uh, special uh, spindle grease. But just grease or a drop of, drop just a drop of lubricant can be oil or grease can go down onto that. And um, then we just need to squeeze the old e-clip into position so that's on there so we'll just nip these screws up Right, so I'm going to catch, catch the spring uh, 
and just pull it out like that and then I'm gonna rest that on there and I'm going to use my scriber just to catch the spring again not like that okay so there we are I've caught the spring what I'm going to use now is a bit of fishing line and we'll just thread that through the spring trouble is we've got old eyes like mine So there's the bit of fishing line, now we can pull that back out and now we've got to find the um, find the pivot, there's the pivot in the window there and what we've got to do is just manoeuvre that over the pivot and hopefully pull it over the lug, there we go, and then pull on the fishing line, that's one attached. Okay, so um, I'm just going to thread a piece of fishing line onto there to catch the spring. And then attach it, hopefully, to the post. This is a bit fiddly, this. There we go, so that's that one on, pull the fishing line out, turn it around, okay let's just have a look, all right you have to hold on John, mm -hmm. so we're retrieving the uh, Spring again. Find the fishing line.
Okay, just take it away a second. Okay, so there we go. It's got that again. Find the pillar to put that on. Just there. Spring's got to be lifted up and over the top. There we go, that's those two on, and it's as easy as that. Okay, so that's on, now we can put the uh, mounting screws in. Peg in the cable retainer, put the E clip on, on okay that little window's got to go back in and the big circlip can go in remember it goes with the tang facing upwards support we'll just put a little bit of grease in the end support if you haven't got those huge circuit pliers <coughs> yeah. will you jigger about with jigger about with a screwdriver yeah yeah uh, that goes in there just needs to come up a bit No. 
Job done. Time for tea. Just put here. Yeah. Just put the cover on. Right, so after that, we can put it back on the bike. Thank you. On cover and cans in. Ready to go.